hi everyone welcome to my assembly language tutorial now from from the first movie until this one we have been talking about the hello world program and with the with our background knowledge of all those theories now we can fully understand how this hello.asm program runs so as i have shown you that this program produces uh, a hello world message so let's see how it works so first uh, we will be working with a message that is the hello world and in hello world it has uh, all total of uh, 5 and 5 you can see 5 for the hello and 5 for the world that is 10 and 1 space that is 11 and 2 byte for the new line code so all total we have uh, 13 uh, byte long uh, data and we have uh, signified the length to describe the length of the of our message so that has been done inside the section dot data in the data section so we have uh, uh, pointed or we have labeled the hello world data with string and its length as length level this one with 13 now our next duty is to uh, invoke a system call for the printf now printf is something that uh, prints something on the standard output uh, that's our terminal in this case maybe something different for uh, other cases so uh, we will be calling a system call so we have used this statement uh, 8h last one for the system call as you can see now there are four parameters we have to pass to the system call one is that which function or which system call i want to call that's the number four we, we put it in the ex register now here four stands for the printf uh, now these things are specified within the microprocessor manual uh, so you have to go through it if you want to know or which uh, integers represent which uh, system calls and then you say one in the EBX register to point to the standard output and then we place ECX in the the string the message to be stored means the hello world so we have used the string to store it into the ECX register and then we have stored the length and with all this register uh, have been set up so now we can call and when we call our hello world uh, module uh, got executed so this is the explanation of uh, uh, printf for uh, uh, producing an output uh, so if you want to use a file maybe you, you should be using uh, some tree and maybe in some other register um, say you might be specifying the file name so we all have to know these numbers nothing else so these are the prime techniques that we use while we invoke a system call and this is a uh, very common part you will get in every assembly code to exit now we have to inform our processor that uh, we are no longer require you because our processing is done so to do so we uh, produced EAX to say we would be exiting from the program and in the EBX register we specify the exit value in this case we have no problem in our execution so we simply put zero on it so when you run the module and you say echo dollar watt or you want to know what's the return value of the program you will get zero now if you want to produce a return value of say uh, 8 you can simply type it in as 8 so I will make it zero and then we again call the interrupt and for this interrupt it will say okay you want to exit and you want to exit with a value of zero so this is how the whole uh, uh, hello.asm works and the final part is that the global part now when we are using NSM assembler it expects the start level from where uh, it should uh, start its execution so we have uh, defined the start level like this because the NSM assembler will be expecting this one uh, just like uh, C expects to or C uh, starts execution from men 
and here in a some starts this execution from the start and the start level uh, should be accessed outside the module by the assembler so we have uh, made this one as the global one and hope I guess you have understood uh, this uh, uh, explanation of the hello world and I hope this has made a good foundation so I will continue my tutorial on loops and directives uh, things like that hope you will follow me and uh, if you have missed the other videos so you can go there in my channel and take a look at the videos this one youtube.com therefore slash you can go there and thanks for watching this video and um, stick on for the others that coming next